This is the nine o'clock news from the BBC with the Double Take Brothers. Gets for the weather. It's too hot today. It was too cold yesterday, and it's probably going to bloody rain tomorrow. I hate the weather. Yeah. Now, regional news: a family holiday ended in tragedy today. <laughs> Manga, sir. Tears for fears there with Mad World. And uh, <laughs> talking to me and Mad, look who's just been brought in by the uh, men in white coats. It's me old crazy bonkers mate, Dave Nice. <laughs> you just don't know what he's going to say or do next. Morning, Smashy. <laughs> <laughs> he's uncontrollable, isn't he? And uh, I don't know. So, uh, what have you been up to, mate? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I've just been on a wearing daft shorts for charity weekend, mate. Uh, how about yourself? Uh, well, actually, mate, I've been down on my farm, and you know, while I was there, uh, one of my pigs gave birth to a litter. A litter of little piggies. Porktastic, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, mate, every single one of them's absolutely bonkers. Uh, <laughs> mind you, they'd have to be to get on the old uh, smashy farms. Then, I mean, you ought to see our cows. I love cows, mate. They're almost like horses in cow form. <laughs> But you know, uh, seeing them little piggies come out of the big pig must have been almost like seeing new life coming from old life, uh, starting all over again to be born type stuff. <laughs> Me, I was gobsmacked. Uh, ten of them popped out. All those little piggies were just the one big pig. Uh, quite phenomenal. And you know, we need that kind of thing, if you don't mind me getting a bit serious for a minute, because things are looking pretty serious. And, uh, you know, uh, things being born is, like, good for the future life. Uh, and the hope that uh, life will carry on. Uh, in the future, <laughs> not end. Wise words, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. And uh, tell you what, why don't we have a phone in poll about the uh, end of the world environment pollution type stuff? Uh, I mean, what do you think? Should our areas of great natural beauty be allowed to grow naturally, or should we uh, muck them up with sort of oil and crisp packets and mud guards and that type of thing? Uh, that's a difficult one, Spashy. <laughs> Uh, why don't you give us a ring? Uh, you know the number, and if you don't know the number, ring us up and we'll tell you. <laughs> Actually, mate, I'm taking a young friend of mine along to a charity event to conserve natural resources this weekend. Uh, <laughs> over 500 of us are going up in our helicopters and we're going to drive round and round London uh, in a flying situation all day long, and we hope to raise over £50 for charity. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds mega-tastic, mate, and I'd love to stay in chat all day, uh, but I've got to be making a move. Uh, this is Mike Smash saying ba 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 dang a dang dang ba 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 digga digga dang dang bye bye. See you, Smashy. Good old Smashy there, yes indeed. Ah ha ha ha! Old Smashy there, of course. What a great guy. Uh, putting the world the rights there and uh, charity does a lot of good work for charity. Doesn't like to talk about it. And right now, uh, do you think the world's going to end? I don't reckon it's going to end yet. In fact, I reckon we ain't seen nothing yet. Norda Bachman Turner Overdrive. Let's rock. So, uh, I'd love to come down to your farmstead sometime and see the little piggies. Too late, mate. Uh, packed them off the old abattoir this morning. <laughs> I love bacon, don't you? <laughs> Hello. 
I wonder if you can help. I'm looking for a book called uh, Fly Fishing by J.R. Hart. <laughs> is this a joke? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I've seen it advertised on television. Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. It must be very popular, because the chap in the advert couldn't find it anywhere. It doesn't exist. The book was invented for the purposes of promoting the Yellow Pages telephone directory. Oh, really? How terribly dim of me. I'm most awfully sorry for wasting your time. That's perfectly all right, sir. So, uh, do you have anything else by J.R. Hartley? No, there is no J.R. Hartley. He was just made up for the Yellow Pages commercial. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Uh, well, uh, I'd better have that then. <laughs> you know, a tinker, tailor, soldier, uh, plumber. Spy. Uh, yeah, probably spy as well. You get everything in there, don't you? Uh, taxis, hotels. Ah, uh, uh, you're talking about the yellow pages, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> have you got that? No. Oh, shame. You ought to. It's a bloody good read. <laughs> now, I tell you what, have you got that other book? Uh, what's it called? We used to do it in scripture. It's called, the Bible. Uh, Oh, I don't know. We were forced to read it by the Reverend Tubbo. The uh, Bible. Do you know the Reverend Tubbo? No. Oh, shame. Bloody good bloke. <laughs> oh, he used to beat me every day. Uh, totally grateful to him for that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Made me the man I am today. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you have that? The Bible? Yeah, that's the chap. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we have the Bible. It is, in fact, the best-selling book of all time. Really? Gosh. Someone must be banking a pretty penny, eh? <laughs> Who's the author? It's the Bible. There is no author. What? <laughs> the mysterious J.R. Hartley strikes again, eh? Get out of my shop, you pathetic, inbred individual. <sighs> Bloody nice bloke. <laughs> For a swat, anyway. <laughs> what have you say? And now, Movie Drome, and the film which made the reputation of the young Michael Hemingstamp as one of swinging London's most lovable shits. <laughs> to film you about the story, there's a cult classic made in swinging London in the 60s, wasn't it? I mean, it's got a lovable vibe. Working class, dunk of himself. Sophisticated. Yeah, I know. Sophisticated. <laughs> And knows how to treat a bird like a bird. Be like me, really. <laughs> and it's a cow and it's called Pop It on the Swing. I'm so delighted! We're going to a party. But I don't even know your name. That's because I didn't tell you. Yes, I suppose it is, really. I suppose you love my car. I got it from the shit. Who's the shit? My father. He's the shit. Come on. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Brian. This is Brian. He's at art school. Is this yours? Yes, I suppose it is. Nice boobs. Mm, come on, let's scoot. We've only just got here. Oh, I never stayed at a party for more than one record. Come on, you. Amanda. What? That's my name, Amanda. I don't care. <laughs> Promise to be gentle with me. No. <laughs> that hurt? Yes. Good. <laughs> Is it your first time? Yes. Thought so. You weren't very good, were you? I'll be better next time. Oh, there won't be a next time. Don't worry, though. You can do the washing up on your way out. <laughs> you might at least have said thank you. Boring party. I've had everybody here. Me too. Hello. 
You again. What do you want? I think I love you. Yes, I thought you probably would. Everybody does. And I'm pregnant. What did you want to go and do that for, you stupid bitch? Sorry. She's a stupid bitch, isn't she? Nice boobs, now. Come on. Where are we going? Get you sorted out. Ciao. What's all that noise? I brought your daughter back. What? She's no good to me. She's up the spout. You're not the hooligan. Go on, get out, you bitch. I don't think you're going to No. You clear off. I never want to see you again. I hope you die soon. Got everything. Hat, scarves, pocket money. Well, you see, that's a very interesting point, Mrs. Housekeeper, because under this conservative government. Oh, shut up! <laughs> now, have you both been to the toilet? Yeah, because under this Tory government, public toilets have quite simply all but disappeared from our streets. No, no. Mm. They've created not public conveniences, but public inconveniences. Now, you see, a fed in noses in the case. Out of this government, the increase in super loose. Oh, have been... come <laughs> off it. <laughs> yeah, those monstrosities are not what any decent, hard working man would call a toilet. They're more like something out of Doctor Who. <laughs> well, may I point out that Doctor Who, under this government, has improved considerably <laughs> under the firm and strong leadership of Sylvester McCoy. A bad friend it was under the last Labour government Nick. with that man who played Wurzel Garage. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Under Labour, we had Cybermen. Right. You've both got your map showing you how to get home, haven't yes. you? Yes. And you've got your name tag sewn in your scarf. Oh, yes. Right. Off you go, then. Hmm. <sighs> The Open University of Real Life. In today's programme, we'll be discussing An Englishman's Home is His Castle after drinking heavily since three o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> now, my home is my own. Yeah? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, your own. No, my own, right, is my own. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. You with me? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. I don't know where we are. <laughs> I'm with you. Right. Hang no. on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I appreciate what you're saying, right? But my ass is my ass. Do you see what hang, I'm saying? Hang on, hang on a sec. Are you talking about your house here or your home? Uh, your house, right, is what you live in. But your home is where you live. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the distinction you're making. But my home is my home. You see? It's my bloody home. Yeah? Yeah, but my home is my home. Yeah, but my home is my home, yeah? Yeah, but yeah. my home... Look, look, I think I can resolve this, right? Right. It's my home, yeah? Right. It's my home, yeah? yeah? Right. This is me. Going home. Yeah. <laughs> now... <laughs> yeah, but look, this is my ass, right? And this is me. OK, I'm going home. We'll be returning to the University of Real Life at the same time next week. If you would like the empty fact package with bum written on it that accompanies the series, you'll find the address in the Radio Times. <laughs> So, uh, hurry up! I'm getting cold. I've gone blinded. <laughs> Get on with it. Shut up and look sexy. Why? 
Because if we get in readers, wives, we get tasty. <laughs> <laughs> now look sexy. <laughs> Take that frag out your mouth. No! Yes. <laughs> right, you got your outfit on? Yeah. <laughs> Why my mum sees it? Your mum don't read white ass. My dad does. Your dad can't read. No, but he could look at the pictures. Look, come on, Wayne, now, and the pubs are open. You're not going out of the bleeding pub tonight. You promised to stay at home and worm the dog. <laughs> You got your stockings on. <laughs> Those ain't stockings, they're tights. Well, they're me only tights. Cut an old in them, V. I ain't cutting an old in them, they're me best tights. Anyway, they're sexy. No, they are not. They are! <laughs> and this play. Oh, I love you. <laughs> you ain't supposed to eat it. You're supposed to suck it. <laughs> Go on, make love to the camera. Piss off! Get up for me, darling. <laughs> oh, no. I've taken the seal in the game. Ah, you stupid tit. <laughs> oh, I forgot something. What? <laughs> I thought I did this in a magazine. Don't be so <laughs> You're not supposed to. Now shut up and pose. How do I look? Wayne? 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 I'm Vincent from Amsterdam, and this is my friend Sergei. We are queuing for Madame Tussauds. <laughs> Sergei here is from Russia. Hey, wow, you can't believe it. At last he is free and finally able to express himself. Freak out! <laughs> <laughs> in the new Europe, I am going to be minister for guitar-based rock. And I am going to be minister for pretty girls. <laughs> Come on, Sergei, tell them what you like. Pretty girls. You see? I like pretty girls. <laughs> we are inviting all the best guitar-based rock bands to play at our party, and they will all sing the Euro anthems that I have written with words and the lyrics by me. Euro, yeah. Now we're together. No one can tear us apart. Freak out! We up to the front and stumping on my fuzz box. Overdrive! Wah! And then I'm running up to the front like Bonio from YouTube and shaking hands with all the pretty girls. And I am hosing them down. Wet t-shirts, no mercy. <laughs> and then the Stones will come on. And Pink Floyd. And Christopher. And Hendrix. Hendrix is dead. But I don't know. Maybe it is all just a crazy dream we are having. What do you think, sir, guy? Hendrix is dead. <laughs> You're 1970, man. But Ezhnev never told us. <laughs> wow, his crazy censorship in the Soviet Union is so heavy. Sergei here was imprisoned for two years for importing banned literature. From behind. Yeah, from behind the Iron Curtains. No, pretty girls from behind. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazy. You know, Sergei, I'm thinking maybe that we should both... Three go! He's looking at me, he's looking at me. Bloody hell, Bob, you think he's going to eat me? Oh, here comes the Gandalto. Quit, put your headphones on. Look out the window, then he won't see us. We won't have to pay. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. I can't hear you properly. Tickets, cheese. Tickets, Tickets for cheese. Please. Did you say tickets for cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I've got one. Right, off. I've got a pass. Where is it? 
past Magnus Magnuson. Weep, weep, weep. At the end of that round, I scored no points. I passed on one. Where's their pass? I haven't got one. <laughs> I didn't say I was going there, I just said town hall. Where are you going then? A swimming pool. 30p. How much is it to go to Mars? Come on, you haven't got much time. Oh no, you ran out of time. And the answer was a trick question anyway, you can't get past to Mars. Come on, give it. He touched me. Oh, bloody hell, Baldwin, he touched me. Oh, I'm going to die. Check it, please. You get all sorts on the bus, don't you? Telling me. Me, but. please. We'd buy tickets if only there was a conductor on the bus. <laughs> oh dear, do I have to? Yes! <laughs> oh dear! Oh, well, two for Starlight Express, then. Circle. You what? <laughs> oh, the stalls, then, if that's all you've got. This is a bus. We sell bus tickets. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, well, two for Phantom of the Opera, then. Oh, hell yeah! Just give me the money! I want to know who men is today. Time was people used to give their seats up, my old folk. <laughs> What do you want to go left here for when it's at home? You want to go straight on. What do you want to do? Oh, you don't want to sell tickets. You want to have a voucher system. Now, what do you want to do? You don't. Me off where I live. That's what you wanted to do. I hope he did. <laughs> oh dear, you look like you need a hand. You don't want to drop your shop in here, my love. Look, you're keeping all the traffic waiting. You want to pick it up. Come on. Oh, you don't want to bend down like that. You want to keep your back straight and bend on the knees and all that. You know, you. Go on, pick it up. Cheerio. <laughs> Now, I don't believe you really wanted to do that. <laughs> you wanted to miss him. You didn't want to drive into him. You wanted to either go round the side or apply your brakes in time. Look, you bust your headlight here. Yeah, you didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Oh, when it's at home, eh? 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 You didn't want to make me like that. You wanted to give me a right uppercut. That would have done the trick. <laughs> Asha Briggs, you are charged with grievous bodily harm. How do you plead? Not guilty. We shall see. Call the first witness. Only me! <laughs> do you take the Bible in your right hand? Oh, you don't want to give it to me in my right hand? That's me right again. And what were that? What's that Bible when it's at home? That's an old one. You don't want an old one. You want a nice modern pictorial one. Please, please. You don't want to say that. You want to shut your trap for a bit. I've got a lot of things to say. Well, what's that wig you're wearing when it's at home? That's a lady's wig as I live in Greece. You want a nice modern toupee like what I've got. You don't want to bash that hammer like that. You want to get yourself a power drill. Do the job in no time. What you want to do is you want to get one down the high street. Only not the shop in the high street. You don't want to go there. I'll send you my You don't want to do that. She don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And another thing. Right. Case dismissed. You don't want to do that. Shut up. Basher Briggs, you are free to go. All I have to say to you is well done for hitting this obnoxious twerp. If I was a younger man, I'd have done it myself. You don't want to do it yourself. You want to get an experienced professional trainer. You, sir, are hereby charged with being a contemptible little shit. <laughs> and I sentence you to five years in prison. You don't want to send me to prison. Odd labour's what you want to give me. Ten years. Ten years. I'll be out in four. Nice long life sentence. What we want. Oh, you don't want to put that black hanky on your head like that. <laughs> you want a tiny little notch in the corner, secured against the wing. Contemptible little <laughs> shit, you will be taken from this court to a place of execution. What, at this time of day? You don't want to take me now, it's a rush hour. No, what you want to do is you want to go by a Fordwich Road... Where and... you will be hanged by the neck until you are very dead indeed. 
You know what I mean? Me, a nice electrocution's what we want. Nice and clean. You know what I mean? Buy me golfing arms. My son was hanged for something he didn't do. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Giving you the chance to win the ultimate Santa sack, including plasma TV, DVD player, iPod, PSP, fab gifts for the family and a luxury food hamper. If you're a digital satellite viewer, press red or go online at uktv.co.uk. Happenings on BBC Two in this week's episode of Twin Peeps. <laughs> that was a damn fine kebab, didn't it? Diane, you have a beef, no grace? Check out Stavros Kebab Shop. It's my damn fine kebab, a very reasonable price. Who is killer? No palmer anyway. I didn't even know he was kicking the bugs, snuffed brown bread. <laughs> Oi, stop eating them tomatoes, you flipping bast. 